guys, thanks for coming or welcome back. I have a Rose Girls haul for you today. This is from her last mini melter ready to ship kind of deal. I don't remember exactly the date. I don't know what day today is. This is her, Jenny Oaks, and that's their website. And let's get into this because it's a little big, so you might need a drink or two. All right, let's go. We have Nilla Noel, classic blend of vanilla bean Noel and Nilla wafers. I don't get the vanilla wafers strongly like I thought I would. Like it's not like opening a box of the Nabisco vanilla wafers. It's beautiful though. It definitely has a like cookie note to it, but it's not like just cookie. It's got that wonderful vanilla bean Noel in it. Lemonade, super in your face bright lemon. I love lemon. This is an incredibly, incredibly strong lemon. It's definitely lemonade and it is definitely in your face. I love this one for my kitchen. My kitchen is like that dead zone where you light a candle or put wax in and you have no idea where the scent went. So I can only imagine my neighbor's apartment smells amazing. But I put this in my little tiny wall warmers that you plug in and this baby threw and it throws right into my living room, which is amazing because I love this scent to get rid of like cooking smells with grease smells, which drives me insane. I don't like cooking to begin with, and I definitely don't like when my kitchen smells like grease. Alice in Wonderland, a blend of honeydew and cotton candy frosting. I was a little bit nervous about this one, but I love honeydew. It's an amazing blend. It's not frosting like buttercream frosting or anything like that. I think the cotton candy just gives the honeydew that little extra bit of sweetness, but it's definitely not cloying on cold at all. Campfire Marshmallow, Winter top seller. Great blend of gooey marshmallows with a hint of warm smoky campfire. The marshmallows are delicious. They are definitely gooey. The campfire for me is definitely a very, very base note. I will be very excited to see how that develops. Good night, Moon. When I did my first order with Rose Girls, not that long ago, a couple months ago, I ordered two of these by accident. And I was very afraid because I wasn't a huge peppermint fan. And I was like, great, I'm gonna be stuck with these and I don't even like them. And it's sweet lavender, pink sugar, peppermint, and birthday cake. I'm not done with my first bag of the two original bags that I ordered. And well, during this order, I panicked I was gonna run out. So, you know, there's two. I love this in my bedroom. I love it because the peppermint's really nice and calming and soothing, um, along with the lavender, which the lavender to me is not a top note. It is absolutely the star of the show, and this is the peppermint. And it's a nice, creamy peppermint. I think it would reduce a headache because it has some crispness to it and some cooling to it, but it's not medicinal. There's just a creaminess to it. I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Baked zucchini bread. This doesn't smell at all like I thought it was gonna smell. Creamy, sugary bakery blender. I thought it was gonna smell like zucchini bread baking in the oven, that, you know, with that greenery note. It doesn't, if there is a little lightness to it, definitely more on the bakery side, it is definitely not like a greenery. It's also not a very, very heavy, heavy bakery. I'm excited to try that. Avo Bear, Lush Type, Lemongrass, Lemon Verbena, Bergamot, and Lavender. I also like this in my bedroom or when I'm cleaning like the dining room and, and living room. It's nice, refreshing, lemon without being like over the top harsh lemon. Blackberry jam butter cookie. Tart blackberries spread atop a sweet buttery sugar cookie and it says it's strong. All of her scents are strong so this is probably like blow you out of the house strong. I do get the buttery sugar cookie and a jam note. Whether it would be blackberry or like a blueberry I can't distinguish. I'm sure that will change when it gets warm. I do it looks like I do need to put these in a cooler area though. Raspberry sauce. I got raspberry sauce in the was it fruity sampler or bakery sampler? It was probably the fruity sampler I would imagine and it is so delicious and authentic raspberry sauce raspberry sauce that you would put over cheesecake it's so authentic I got two so the scent notes are strong raspberry with hints of blackberry and vanilla no floral note nope not a floral in there it is absolutely raspberry sauce that you would put over like a cheesecake or a dessert blackberry sweet blackberries with no floral perfume or bakery notes and that's exactly what it is blackberries Juicy, ripe blackberries. I have worn this before and it is absolutely delicious. Florida key lime pie. Creamy and tangy key lime pie. It is, you get that tanginess from a true key lime pie and a little bit of pie crust. It is very good. Gilligan's brew, which is coconut, 
blended with heavy whipping cream. For me, it'll probably be a blender, but it is just a nice creamy scent that will round things out nicely from other scents. You know, when you not necessarily when you want to sweeten it up, but you kind of want to round it out a little bit. Blueberry cobbler, baked vanilla and blueberries. I'm not so much getting like the cobbler part of it. The blueberries smell like they're in heavy whipping cream over top of them. That's what it smells like to me on cold. Lemon poppy seed cake, freshly baked lemon poppy seed cake. Now lemon poppy seed muffins are my favorite. And that's exactly what it smells like. If you've ever had a lemon poppy seed muffin, that's what this smells like. Marshmallow smoothie. Scrumptious melted marshmallow mixed with pure vanilla bean ice cream. This one I'm a little on the fence about. Very milky to me, and sometimes milk scents to me go sour. I'm hoping it doesn't do that. I do think this will be an amazing blender, again, to round things out. But I'm going to try it on its own and see, what, see how I like it. Because it's warm. I think it would be nice in the winter. Pear. Luscious, freshly sliced pears. It's just juicy pears. Monster cookie. Perfect cookie scent, brown sugar, blended with sweet creamy butter and pure Madagascar vanilla. It's a beautiful sugar cookie. You do get the vanilla, it's light for, for my nose, but it is an absolutely beautiful sugar cookie. Peeps cake. Yellow cake, fluffy frosting, and gooey sugar covered marshmallows. A great blender with any other scent. Yeah, it is a white cake rounded out with marshmallow. Sweet lavender. Gentle and soothing sweet lavender. I was a little afraid of this at first because I was a little worried it was going to be floral. To me, it's not. To me, it's a very delicate herbal. It does have that kind of herbal note to it. It's not strong. It is very, very delicate without being perfumey. Vanilla Bean Noel. Delicious sugar cookies. One of our customers' top choice for blending. It's, you know, like a Bath and Body Works vanilla bean. I love this. I'll burn this on its own. I love vanilla scents. You know, delicious. Monster Cookie Fluff Puff, top selling blend of monster cookies and marshmallow smoothie. It's very nice. You know, you get the you get the marshmallow, you get the, the sugar cookie, well balanced. Wild berry, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and cream. It's wild berries with heavy cream on them. I wish I had ordered more of this. I think it's gonna be gorgeous when it's melted, but just think if you had a bowl of fruit and put some delicious heavy cream on them, yum. Waffle cone, vanilla sugar waffle cone. Just like walking into an ice cream shop, that ice cream cone scent that, that hits you when you walk in the door, that's this. I'm lucky enough to have one of those hand churned place, not like Cold Stone Creamery, it's actually like a, they make all their own ice cream on site. I don't think, it, it's not like a chain, I think it's a person who owns like maybe three locations. This waffle cone, if you mix this waffle cone with like vanilla bean ice cream, that would be exactly like what that chop smells like. It's so delicious. And their ice cream is so good and they make the best milkshake. Vanilla Crunch Donuts. Rich Buttery Bakery Heaven Top Seller. Ooh, that is a delicious vanilla donut. Not like a not like a Dunkin' Donuts donut though. Like a like a handmade donut. Mmm, yummy. Dreamweaver and sandalwood. Okay, some of these I can't find the scent descriptions on her page. I will leave any of them that I can find in the in the description box below. I'm sure there's something somewhere that will have the scent description. This is Dreamweaver and Sandalwood. Obviously, there's going to be sandalwood in it. I'm going to say it's like a sandalwood and, and, and lavender, maybe? Not very descriptive. Sorry. Twilight Woods type. This I ordered by accident and I'm a little nervous about it. I don't see any scent notes, so if anybody can tell me the scent notes of this, I would love to know. It smells a little masculine to me, which worries me because I don't like masculine scents. So tell me about this in the comments, please. Not as masculine as I thought. Maybe it has some lavender in here? I don't know. If, if anybody knows anything about this Twilight Woods, tell me about it. I'd love to know because I'm not finding anything. Coastal Kale. This is a greenery fresh. It doesn't smell like kale. It's a nice refreshing blend though. I don't get any like any perfume notes in it, but it's not just that greenery fresh. There's something else about it that's in there that, that's deepening it a little bit. Again, if anybody knows anything about this one, leave it in the comments because I clearly don't know much. Alice in Summerland. This smells like there's honeydew in it or some kind of melon. Very pretty. It's like a lavender and some sort of melon. It'll be very nice to melt this in my bedroom. So talk to me about it. Um, I would love to know. 
and then a sample of shark bite. Oh, I don't know what this is. I have nothing to go on with this. It smells a little fruity to my nose. So again, if you know anything about shark bite, Alice in Slumberland, Coastal Kale, Twilight Woods, Dream Weaver and Sandalwood. Um, we can talk about it in the comments. I will try and find something, leave it for you in the description bar. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. It definitely helps me out. If there's anything different you'd like to see, I'm open to constructive criticism as long as it's constructive. You can follow me on Instagram. I think a lot of you came from my wax page, but I'll have that information below also. If you would like to follow my other Instagram page, it's photography, and I'll have a link for that below. I will just warn you now, it's a lot of cemeteries, uh, gravestones, bridges, and anything from my travels that I've done in the past because obviously we're not traveling in recent times or at least if you are traveling I hope you're taking all the precautions because I can't wait to be able to leave the house and kind of get back to my normal life and vacations and things that everybody wants to do. I hope everybody's staying safe. Oh but anyway so if I got distracted if cemeteries and tombstones and that kind of thing is not your thing and this page is it's not going to be for you and that's fine but there are some other things on there like like I said my travels and stuff like that so I hope you're all doing well and that's about it for me today I'm tired of talking I'll see you guys soon bye